How about Meek Mills has been invited to the White House and word on the street is he's supposed to be going to the White House today. Really? Yeah. Meek Mill? Man. Meek oh. Mill. Now, they say that they don't know if he's going to be meeting with Donald Trump or if he's going to meet with some meeting with somebody else at the White House. But oh, he's supposed Lord to be going Jesus. there to talk about prison reform. Remember when he got out right. of prison, he said that's one of the things that he wanted to start doing oh. is this, you know, helping reform this prison situation. All right, Nick. So I'll keep you updated on. Oh, you know, girl, he need to take T.I. with him so they can make sure they get in. No, but a lot of celebrities are, you know, calling him, telling him not to go. <laughs> and I don't know if he should go, honey, because Chris and Michelle, she wished she had the food with Donald Trump. I know, right? So for Donald Trump, honey, it ain't been the same for her. Reggie cut cut all her music when she did that. Okay, now the police, the police, the police, the police are looking for uh, Offset. You know, Cardi B's fiance, the police uh-huh. are looking for him. He was mm-hmm. involved in a one car accident. Yeah. Now the police want to talk to him because, you know, they don't want they want to know why he left the scene of the accident. Now, the police was not called, the ambulance was not called, no uh medical assistance was called, nobody was called. And he abandoned the car and left it at the scene of the accident. Now a passerby saw the car and they called the police. Mm. So now everybody's wondering, you know, what went on in the police want to talk to him, but thank God that Carly B and the baby were not in the car, but she did rush to his side, and the accident happened in Atlanta, so guess what? what? That means Cardi B is here in the ATL resting until she had the baby. All right, now. All right. Now, I know he didn't go to uh, Grady because somebody would have called me and told me that he was down at Grady, but he's been released from the hospital, so I don't know what <laughs> hospital he went to. Well, girl, he went to Grady. It wasn't Grady because they would have gave me a call. Sophia, guess who here? I'm going to call over there. <laughs> but I'll keep you updated on what's going on with this situation. How about the T.I. situation? T.I. arrest, you know, that has taken a life of its own. Now, the videotape of him going to talk to the guard at the gate, as well as the videotape of him when he was Mm -hmm. in jail, both have been released. Mm -hmm. Now, (sighs) T.I. is saying that, you know, this guy, you work for me. And I ask you a question. What is your name, sir? And this is how I went at the gate. Yes, I've been I've been threatened by uh, by a resident and he's here now knocking on the door on the door threatening me and stuff. Okay. Hey, you step back there. I own property on here, bro. You work for me. I ask you to step back. <laughs> Do it to that woman. You asked him to you step out. Tip. You, you work for tip. me. I asked you tip a question. Hey, you don't know me. <laughs> you don't know about me. But you see me in the street, shawty. You don't know me. <laughs> T.I. is also saying that the guard is not telling everything that happened in the situation. T.I. said that one of the reasons that he was really upset with the guard is because when Tiny called the guard asking why was T.I. being held up at the gate, the guard cussed her out. He so that's why <laughs> T.I. wanted the guard to come on out there so he could talk to him. But when T.I. went to jail, he he talked to the police officer and he's asking, why am I being arrested? I can respectfully ask you a question as to why I was arrested. You acting like a fool? I wasn't acting like a fool. How was I acting like a fool? Because I was questioning the person who refused to acknowledge me and how to pay all of my money and taxes to pay that man. So he did not ask me. You say, excuse me, sir? No, I said I didn't have to he didn't have to answer me. How so, sir? But, but tell me. Okay, well, even if you feel that he didn't have to answer me, what 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 the reason why you didn't have to come back was? I didn't have to, but I have a right to come back. See. Oh, now we're not going to be able to go over there no more. We're going to boycott all of the doggone complexes. Oh, people, please, please. Oh. No, he's not, no, not going to boycott all the complexes again. But anyway, I'll keep you updated on what's going on with this situation because, you know, T.I. lawyer said that, you know, he was wrong. And the guard was wrong for not letting T.I. in. And a lot of people, you know, are weighing in mm-hmm. on the situation. So we'll we'll be talking about this for, for a couple of days, I believe. All right. We're going to talk about it coming up at 8 o'clock. We got a special guest coming in. Y'all want me to talk with y'all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tiny. Y'all want, because I was just trying to get my king in. When I called the I told the dude, I said, look, dude, let the king in. Well, king. Major. <laughs> It's Did all God's plan, T.I. It's Major's birthday, too. It's Major's birthday. Happy birthday, Major! People Station V103. <laughs>